actually have a broken heart? Science says yes. When you are dealing with emotional pain and loss, your chest can hurt and you can even become sick because your immune system is compromised. Everyone loses someone close to them at some point in their lives. This can be a parent, grandparent, friend, pet, a breakup, or a friend moving away. Loss is a scary part of being human. Meet Garrett. It's almost homecoming weekend and everyone is excited about the dance and who they will go with. Garrett couldn't care less about the dance. His mom just passed away from cancer and he hasn't cried. Instead, he feels numb. He doesn't think he can relate to his friends anymore. They still text him, but Garrett just wants to be alone. Garrett's dad made him see a counselor because he was spending so much time in his room. The counselor couldn't fix everything, but Garrett felt a little better after each session. Everyone's grieving process is different. Some people feel numb or in denial for a while, while others cry a lot. Others may be angry or get irritated easily. Some people lean on friends and family, while others isolate and don't want to be around anyone. Respecting everyone's grieving process is important. Check up on loved ones or friends if they have lost someone or something important to them. If you are the person who is experiencing loss, know that your roller coaster of emotions is normal. You may even question a God or higher power that you used to believe in, or you may find peace and comfort from your God or higher power. Either reaction is normal. One tip can be thinking about how loss is a universal human experience, and you are not alone in it. This spiritual universal meditation practice can bring some peace to a grieving heart. Counselors and grief support groups can guide you through your own unique grieving process and honor your loss in a way that feels healthy and helpful to you.